Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us here at Village Hills Fellowship. We're running a little, little behind schedule this morning, but we yet praise and thank God for being here. Amen. Hi, you say good morning? You say good morning? Yes, God has been so good to us. He's kept us all week long. Um, I'm so thankful and so blessed um, just for the goodness of God. God has been truly wonderful. Um, I thank God for his presence, like how his presence just sweeps over you at times. Um, times when you're unsuspecting, I, you know, and he just sweeps over you and he blesses you and he reminds you of what he's done in your life. And so I'm so thankful uh, to God for his goodness. Um, I want to sing, uh, I'm going to sing a song that we used to sing uh, when I was younger coming up. And um but I'm going to read Psalms 23. <laughs> Once again, thank you for joining us online. Thank you for joining us here in the building. Yes, you say thank you. You say thank you. Praise God. Um, so we'll read Psalms 23. And um, it is, our, yes, we clap in, clap in for Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Let's just give God a hand clap of praise. Oh, God, we bless you. We thank you today. We honor you, oh, God. We'll just go ahead and go into our prayer time. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy. God, we bless you. God, we honor you. Lord, you are so good to us, Father God. God, we thank you for being a good, good father. God, we thank you, oh God, for your present help in the time of trouble. God, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your sweetness and your kindness and your justice. God, we thank you for the grace that you give us, Lord God. Lord God, we praise and magnify you, Lord God, for never leaving nor forsaking us. God, you said that you are a present help in the time of trouble. Thank you, Lord God, that your presence goes before us. Your presence was with us in the past, Lord God, and your presence is here with us now. God, I thank you and I praise you. I honor you. Lord, I thank you, God, for when I think back over my life, God, you were there all the time, Lord God. So I praise you and I magnify you and I give you all the glory and all the honor for you are due and worthy of it. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, be with us today. Let your presence be with us. Let us be reminded of who you are and what you have done for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, somebody, just bless the Lord. He woke you up this morning. Hallelujah. He didn't have to do it. Thank you, Jesus. But God, I'm so glad you did. For we know that each day is not promised to us. Hallelujah. But God is so faithful. He's so faithful and he's so good. <clears throat> Hallelujah. We'll stand for the reading of God's word in the building. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we'll read Psalms 23. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it reads, I'll read one through six. Um, <clears throat> it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. And he leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou, you, O Lord, are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I thank God for the reading of his word. I thank God that he is a God who lives by his word, right? He um, performs his word and his word cannot return unto him void. So we thank God for being the good, good shepherd that he is, hallelujah. And we are his sheep, so we should be listening to his voice. We should be allowing him to lead us because this is where he takes us, hallelujah. And then his goodness and his mercy follows us all the days of our lives, hallelujah. God, we bless you today. 
we bless you and we honor you today. Hallelujah. Oh, man, so many things going on. But uh, I thank the Lord anyhow, right? Sometimes I feel like when we're in the middle of situations and things are not going right, um, there's a song that talks about hallelujah anyhow. We have to give God praise anyhow. And when we say hallelujah, it evokes something into the atmosphere to change the atmosphere, to change our perspective, to change our mindset, to change our heart posture when things might have been going bad. Now, hallelujah, anyhow, I thank you, Jesus, because you're here with me. And so there's a song we used to sing when I was a little girl and, um, and even older than that. But I'm going to sing this song of praise and then we're going to let Pastor come and give us a word on today. Um, but the song goes like this. <laughs> hallelujah, anyhow. Don't let your troubles get you down. When Satan blocks your way, stand right up and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Oh, Hallelujah, anyhow. Mm, yes. Don't let your troubles. Get you down. If Satan blocks your way, you just stand right up and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 in it, hallelujah, hallelujah, in it, it's all right, hallelujah, in it, it's all right, hallelujah, in it, Satan, you can leave, hallelujah, in it. Satan, you can leave, hallelujah. You can't have my mind, hallelujah. And you can't have my heart, hallelujah. And it's all right, hallelujah. And it's all right, hallelujah. And hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's the highest grace, hallelujah, that we can give, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in it. It's all right, hallelujah. Say it's all right, hallelujah, in it. It's all right, hallelujah, in it. It's all right, hallelujah, in it. Oh, when Satan blocks your way, you just stand right up and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is so good. And we just say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow. When he comes with his troubles and his, his craziness and his chaos, you just say, Hallelujah, anyhow. And you give God praise, and the praise of God will invoke your atmosphere to change. Hallelujah. So we bless the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyhow, thank you, Jesus. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We'll have our pastor come now to give us a word from the Lord. Amen. Let's be seated with a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Yes. Hey, God bless y'all. God bless you. God bless you. Pray that y'all doing well. We appreciate you all, uh, your patience. Uh, this is been a morning I'll just say <laughs> that's for sure but as we look into the, the day we praising God anyhow 
when we, when, we, when we consider this season of our lives for my wife and I and our family, there's always a song, right? Some of us can remember, like, hey, when I was going through a certain season of my life, there was a song attached to that season. The song may have gotten you through it, or maybe there's a song when like, I remember someone, like when my father passed away, or when he was sick, and before he passed away, I was listening to uh, one of the first, the second album for Miranda Curtis, right, Open Heaven. So there's certain songs in Open Heaven. Every time I hear the song, I think of my father. I think about where I was and walking on the beach after he passed away. There was a day when I was like, man, I was, I was going through it that day. I was like, done, done. And I was like, I got to leave. So I just left and I went to the beach and I sat out at, at the beach for a few hours. But that song reminds me of my father. It, remind, it takes me back to a season of my life where I was like, man, I was here. And for my family right now, so I don't know if that's you, so that may be y'all, so that you may have that time where you have a season where a song kept you or it reminded you of someone. But in this season right now, we have so much going on in our house. This season, lately, like the last couple weeks, has been the song with the album by Ty Tribbert. Now, now for all those on Facebook, you will know that we do have a license. I had to spend part of my day this morning was trying to make sure we purchased the license because you have to have when you're ever, whenever you're talking about are singing songs that are copyrighted, then you need to purchase a license for them. So I have a license. So so what I'm about to say, I'm just going to speak some of the lyrics, but I can do that because I have a license. So so I have a license with. Uh, let me show you. Let me just just explain the license to y'all. So it's with the. Uh, it's with the Christian Copyright Solutions, so a CCS is a Perform uh, Music License, and so this is license number 13070 for our church, amen. So I wanted to read a song, part of a song from this, because Yolanda and I both woke up with the song, but there's a, there's a live album by Ty Tribbert he just, that was just released called, it was live in Orlando, All Things New. And for the last couple weeks, I mean, that song, that album has been playing in our house, like, continually. We have been singing it. And most of the time, I'm always listening to some rap music, but I need to listen to more worship music. And it's just, it's just been ministering to us. But when we woke up this morning, it was like the one song that was on my heart was The Devil Thought He Had Me. Right. I, I mean, I woke up this morning because I, I went to bed on the couch. I fell asleep on the couch, woke up at like two in the morning. Then I did a whole bunch of work, prepared the sermon. And it was I ate and it was like five. And I was like, man, I'm tired. Let me go to sleep. Next thing I know, I wake up it's eight o'clock and I'm like, oh, man, now I'm in a rush because I got to shave and cut my hair. So that's why we're running late because I, I didn't leave the house until like nine thirty. <laughs> so so then it's a 30 minute drive to get over here. So that's why we're running a little bit late. And when I woke up, I had that song on my mind. And I was telling Yolanda, I said, I think I'm a freestyle. You know, rappers freestyle. You know, I got the spirit. Why can't I freestyle too? <laughs> so, so going off of the message, because I was like, you know, that song is on my heart. And Yolanda was like, the song is on my heart too. You know, she had the same song, The Devil Thought He Had Me. So I'm going to read some of the lyrics. And then we're going to go to Psalm uh, 3419, right? I'm going a, I'm to... A, the song is, so when you get a chance, the song on this album is called He Turned It, All right? So, but I tell you, listen to, you know, I listen to most of the album, or there's certain sections where I'll just start it and just kind of run it all the way through. But this, this is the song by Ty Tribute, but let me, let's pray first and then we'll get into it. Gracious Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ for this time you've given us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for reminding us, Lord God, you're the one who turns situations around, Lord God. When the devil thinks he has us, we're cornered, and when we want to give up, Lord God, it's always you who deliver us, Father God. We thank you for being faithful. We thank you for loving us, Lord God. We thank you for always showing yourself strong, Lord God. Your name is a strong tower, Lord God. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to call out your name and to run to it and find safety and be secure, Father. We bless you on this day, Lord God. Minister to the hearts of those who may be in need this morning, Father God. Help us to be mature in this season, Father. We thank you, Father, and we love you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. I told you guys, I think a week or two ago, that God said that this season was going to get hard and I need to be mature. So this is, I need to mature a little bit about how I'm going about things. So today is that message. And because it was hard today, right? We're, I'm juggling throughout the day, even this morning as as we are, as Yolanda is singing, right, I'm texting, there's, a, there's one of my clients for a house, right, and I'm, I've been trying to get him, I'm trying to help him, right, trying to help him out, and so he asked me a question, so I answered the question real quick, and I mean, we've been balancing yesterday, I talked to people, like, from 2 o'clock, almost all the way to almost 7.30, 
right? I'm talking to people. So I'm talking and I have a couple of conference calls while I'm washing, washing my truck, right? I'm getting my truck washed because it hadn't been cleaned in a couple of weeks. So I clean Yolanda's early in the, earlier in the day. So I'm doing mine at the same time I'm having these calls. There's a lot that's going on, but God has kept us. So in Psalm 34, let me read that first. Let's go to Psalm 34, 19, and then we're going to get into this word. But what I, I'm not going to be long. I do not want to be long today. I promise you, I don't want to be long. Because I, I want you to really, I want you to think about this song, the lyrics to this song. I want you to apply it. As you're thinking about the song, I want you to think about, you know, what you're going through. And then we're going to leave where I'm going to say a couple of things. And then I want you to go home. I want you to listen to that song and listen to the lyrics. Because when you have the things that we go through in life and in Christ is about how we our perspective and how we look at things, right? Yesterday, I was telling the brothers that it's like having a pair of glasses, right? It's like these glasses and you go to the, to the eye store, right? So when you go to, if, if you ever been to like America's Best, right? I bought these at America's Best. So we go to America's Best, right? They have them all on the wall. They have all these little glasses on the wall that you can choose from. And what happens with us in life is when it's a certain type of person or something that's going on, right, we will sit back. I'm just, just trying to make sure I had it right, right? So when it's somebody going on, we'll take the glasses off the wall and we'll say, you know what, this is how I'm going to see the situation, right? I'm, a, I'm not going to see it in faith. I'm going to see it in fear, right? Or, or there's somebody you don't like, you don't particularly like. You're like, oh, man, I don't like that person right there. Oh, snap, let me, let me get these hate glasses. Right. So then we have a perspective of hate because now my vision is blurred. Right. Remember, we talk about what's in our heart. We talk about uh, proverb of my proverbs, but Titus 115 about how our heart, I mean, if it's not right, right, it'll change our perspective and it'll color what we see. And we look at life in the same lens. So if we think that we're destroyed, if we think that we're not going to make it, if we have the wrong set of glasses, the wrong perspective on, then it's going to change how we see God in the situation and how we see ourselves in the midst of the situation. But this is what it is. And this is, now I'm going to take the title because Yolanda had the title. But I had, a, I, I didn't, we didn't even work the title. I was like, you know what, I, like I said, I'm freestyling. You know, I, I, I got the spirit in me, right? I'm trusting God, <laughs> right? I'm trusting God. I, I got the spirit. So it's not even, I'm doing more than the rappers do. Rappers can freestyle and so can I. I got the, the Lord Jesus in me. Come on, y'all. So then it says in, in a, a Psalm 24, 9, 30, 30, I'm sorry, 34, 19. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, right, delivers him out of them all. That's so important. Because when you are living a righteous life, you are trying to live for God. You are trying to do what God told you to do in certain season. Satan is coming. He coming with all type of afflictions. But if we got the right perspective on, come on, we got the right glasses on in the perspective, then we will understand that God is using this situation to propel me in every situation throughout the Bible. God will use evil people that are doing evil things to propel and to progress his agenda to progress his message, to progress his glory. So his glory will be seen in the midst of evil being done around us. A lot of times, we don't want to be dealing with no evil. We don't want to be dealing with evil people. We don't want to be dealing with evil situations. I'm going to put some different glasses on. I want to put the glasses on that got blinders, right? I need to have blinders from people, from certain folks. So when I'm walking, I don't see them, right? I don't see what that person doing. I'm walking. I'm doing my own thing, right? No, no. That I see that God is going to use this situation to propel me. Sometimes we put on glasses. Of, of we, you know, we go to the wall and we're like, man, I've been going through this stuff so long. Right? I, I lost hope. I, 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 got, I got nothing. I, I, I'm in despair. I'm stressed out. Right? I'm just going, this, this is what I'm going to see now. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know. What, I, I feel like giving up. But let me read to you these lyrics real quick. So he said here, now this is part of the song. Right. He said the devil thought. Now, remember Facebook, because right. Facebook be watching. I, I just said we got a license. <laughs> so so and he turned it. Right. And I did check. I went online and checked because you can check to see what songs that have a, um, that are available for a license. And I checked this song before I took my shower. Right. I had to check it. So it says the devil thought he had me. Right. He uh, thought that my life was over. Let me, no, hold on. Let me read the whole thing. I got to read the whole whole thing. I just caught, you know, he thought by now I give up. So I, I will just stop right there. So the devil thought he had me, thought that my life was over. 
He thought by now I'd give up. Come on, y'all. I want y'all to think for a moment about what you're going through right now. I want you to think about that situation. The devil thinks he got you. Like, like right now, like in this moment, I got him. They got the wrong glasses on. They don't have no hope. They won't believe in God right now. I got him. The devil thought he had you. Come on. How many times has the devil thought he had you while you was growing up? The things, there were situations in my own life. I thought I'd been raped and killed. All kind of things going on in my life. I thought this was it. This is over. I ain't going to make it out of this. How many times have I told y'all across this pulpit? I'm thinking like, man, there's no way I'm going to get out of this out of this city without touching another woman. I'm like, Lord, I'm trying. Temptation all around me. I'm like, the devil thought he had me. I got you. But the Lord. Come on. When, when you think that you, there's nothing, there's no hope, there's no way out. But the Lord, when the devil think he had you. So I want you to think, what would happen? What would happen if we put on a different set of glasses today? When I can say, you know what, I look at my situation, the devil thought he had me. He thought my life was, thought that my life was over. He thought I would give up. He thought I would not make it. Come on, y'all. But God turned it around for us. Let me read the rest of, let me go to the rest of the lyrics. Hold on, y'all. Right, he thought that I have no more. Right, the devil, I want y'all to think about that right now for a moment. I, like I said, I ain't gonna be here for you long because I want you to think about it. The devil thought he had you because see, what the devil wants to do ultimately is steal, kill, and destroy. But he want, it's not just that he wants to destroy you, he wants to destroy God's name. He wants to take that out of your mouth. He don't want God to have no glory from your life. He don't want God to be lifted up. He don't want you to do good works that when everybody sees those works from God, they see the light that comes from you through him, right? Through God, we shine our light. He don't want nobody glorifying God. He's trying to destroy that around the world. So he's going to keep putting you in situations and afflictions that you experience, right? That, that God allows for you to experience. Because he's trying to use those to grow us and to mature us so that we can be more like his son, Jesus. They're not meant to destroy you, right? We, we have to believe. See, some of us don't believe, even though we see the scripture, we won't believe that in, in, in Jeremiah 29, 11, right, that he has good thoughts for us. Thoughts of good, hope, peace, right? We don't, always, we don't believe that. We won't put that on. God ain't trying to destroy me. I, that's why I know that he's not bringing me, he ain't brought me this far to destroy me now. God getting glory out of my life, and he's going to get glory out of yours too. So that means we got to put on a different set of glasses. We got to have a different type of perspective so that we understand that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, but the Lord, but the Lord delivers us from them all. He didn't say some, he didn't say a couple, he didn't say he was going to do a crap shoot and throw it out and whatever number come up, that was it. He said all of them. He will deliver us from them all. And you know for a fact that God has been faithful in your life. You look back as I, you talking about some old songs, as I think back over my life, right? Come on, when I think back all the things that he's done, come on for you. When you think things over, you can truly say that I've been blessed. I'm a living testimony. Come on, y'all. Somebody can testify to that right now. Some of y'all know you have no business where you at right now. So if the same God that raised Jesus from the dead that lives in you, the same God that has helped to part seas, right? Part of seas, walls have fallen down. Fire has come down from heaven. We have seen chariots of fire to pick people up and give them a ride back to heaven. Come on. If all of that can happen, that same spirit that lives in you, why in the world do you think he's not going to deliver you from this? He will, because he's faithful. Remember we talked about a couple of weeks ago, and this is the way, in, in, in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, he, we often miss the part, even me sometimes, we miss the part where it says, but God is faithful, right? There's no temptation that's not common to man, but God is faithful. But God is faithful. He's faithful. Sometimes certain things take time to be worked out. They take time to develop for God to get you up out of here. 
So God will bring you out one situation to prepare you because I need another one. What I went through in my previous season of life, I needed that to help me in this season, but God is going to continue to develop me to keep me for the next season. God is faithful, and he's been faithful. He's been faithful to you, and he's been faithful to me. And no matter what affliction may occur, I will be delivered. And so will you. But it says that the word says, many Many, many are the afflictions of the righteous, y'all. So, like I said, I'm not going to be before y'all long. I'm about to cut this out. But what I want y'all to see, I want y'all to listen to the song. Y'all go, y'all find Ty Tribbett. He turned it. I want y'all to listen to the whole song. I mean, that album has been playing continually in our household for the last several days. But that song, that like, the, the, just, the, just, just keep running back. The devil thought he had me, right? It just keeps going back again and again. Because when we change, think about that. Think about when you, when you look at your situation and you be like, man, the, like, think about that. When you, when, you, when you put on that set of glasses, right? When you take your, when you be like, man, the devil thought, wait, oh, hold on. I, wait, 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 wait. Let me put that back on. The devil thought he had me. Come on. The devil thought he had me. Right? In the situation where it's like, like you, where, where you once felt like maybe yesterday that it was hopeless and there was nothing good that's going to come out of it. But when you can change your perspective and say, man, the devil thought he had me. Right? Thought that my life was over. Right? He thought by now I give up. But that's when someone greater, right, stepped in my situation. My morning now has begun because he turned it. Right? So Ty Tribbett, a lot of his album, he's talking about how weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. So that's where he is. And that is true, because that's what the word says. But as you're thinking today, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, I want you to meditate on the song. I want you to meditate. He thought he had you. He ain't got you. Because the righteous are never forsaken. Nor is he baking bread. That's what, that's what David said, right? He said, look, I, I, I've, been, I've been living a long time, right? And I've seen a lot of things. But I'm going to tell you one thing I've never seen. I've never seen the rights forsaken, forsaken. Nor is he begging bread. Brothers and sisters, in this season of your life, you keep going after God. What we're going through right now is hard. It's no joke. Like, believe me. Like, I don't, I don't know if we make it this easy, but it's not. But what I see in my wife I see so much growth in her. I see this beauty, this beautiful flower blossoming in her life. I've always, I've always desired to see that. Ever since I've known her, since 2009, I've always wanted to see her flower bloom. And I'm beginning to see that bloom in her. I'm beginning to see the beauty that God has, the beauty that, that I've seen. I know that was there, that so many of us have seen. I'm not saying that she wasn't, you know, not, not, not saying anything negative. But there's this beauty that's within her that's growing. There's a beauty within us, right, that's, that's growing and blossoming and blooming out where we can become and be who God's called us to be. All of us, including me. Right? There's things in my life that needed to change, that I need to change my perspective. And I, even this week, my message I was going to preach was about a lot of that, about putting on a different perspective. Because of that, all of us need to grow from faith to faith to glory to glory. And it's a beautiful thing to see. Right? One of my purposes in life is to see people to walk in, in what God called them to do. That's my purpose. When, when, God, when God called me to, to Yolanda, God told me it is my purpose to help her to hear well done, my good and faithful service. That servant, that is my purpose in this marriage. I am to help her to do what God has called her to do. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? It's not just being her wife and loving on her and all that stuff. And, you know, she's, an extreme, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, like ever, ever. Like, I promise y'all, <laughs> she is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. Right? I love her. You know, I honor her. She is a great woman of God. I tell you, she is a wonderful woman of God. And I just pray that all of you that, that have the opportunity to connect with her will see. Y'all y'all already see it. You know, like, I don't, y'all don't see it already. You know, y'all see it in her, this beautiful, sweet spirit that's within her. And that's part of my purpose is to help her to do what God's called her to do. 
right? And so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful to see her walk in her call, to see her take those steps. And we're all taking steps, right, to do what God's called us to do. But as we begin to take steps to move into the places that God is calling us to move into, Satan ain't going to make it easy. You think Satan's going to sit down and just be like, no, nah, I'm just, all right, I'm going to watch you do your thing. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I see that you was once, you was once crawling a little bit. Now you're walking. Okay, no, 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 I'm going to let you be. No, he's coming at you. He coming at you to take from you. He coming to make things hard. He want to come back to you to the point where you want to give up, right? That's when we talk about, when you talk about going through temptations, right? To take you to the place where you feel like you want to give up. That's where Satan wants you to be at, where you think like your life is over, that you're not going to make it. But that's when we got to remember Psalm 34, 19. That's when we got to remember that. That many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord is going to deliver them from all. Man, God going to get me out of this. I may not see it today, but I know he is. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I know he will. Why? Because the words say he's faithful. That God always keep his word. You're talking about my word is bond. You know, there, you know, like they, you know that's, that's kind of East Coast thing. But there ain't nobody word that's bond like God. When God said, you know it's done. His word is sure. All I got to do is continue to be in the right position. I got to continue, y'all. We got to continue to have the right perspective on. We got to continue to trust God and keep believing by faith. I believe I'm going to be delivered. I believe my kids going to be saved. I believe that you now financially I'm going to be in a different space. I believe that this season is not going to destroy me. I believe that there's going to be a tomorrow, right? Sometimes Satan don't even want us to even believe that, right? Walking around blind, like, like, right, like right now without my glasses on, you know, I can barely see the camera right here. I can barely see what's on the wall probably 50 feet away. I, I know it says coffee, but I can barely read the words, right? That's how he wants us to be. He wants us to look where I can't see clearly. I can't see things for what they are when I have on the glasses, the, the like glasses of hope and faith, when I'm wearing, when I have the right perspective, when I can see God clearly. That's what he wants us to do. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we thank you for this time you've given us, Father. We thank you for this word that you've provided for us to remind us, Father God, that you are sovereign, that you love us, you never forsake us, you never leave us, you're always there. Strengthen our hearts today, Lord God. Remind us, Father, of your love. Remind us of your word. Keep us today, Father God. Allow us to keep standing, Father God. There's so many days when we want to give up. When we did, we thought the devil had us this time. We're not going to make it. But yet you keep, you deliver us again and again. Remind us, Father God. Strengthen us in the midst of what we're going through, Lord, that this too shall pass. This will not destroy us, and we will come out of it. We will continue to shine our light, and through the seasons we go through, through the affliction, through the pain, we will be continually sharpened. We will continually be developed and molded to look a little bit more like your son, Jesus. Father, I thank you. I love you for this opportunity that you've given us, Lord God, to develop our lives, Lord God, to be better. I thank you, Lord. I personally thank you for what I'm going through right now, Lord God, so that I can be a better man a better husband, a better father, a better friend, a better minister. I thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in my life, Lord God. For there's times, Lord God, when I felt like I want to give up. But you remind me, Father God, of your love. You remind me of, love, of the call. And you remind us, Lord God, all of us, Lord God, to continue to look to you for help. You are our source. You are our shield and buckler. You are the one to provide light in the midst of dark places, Father. We love you, Lord, and we honor you for all that you continue to do in our lives, Father. And we will continue to reach to you, Father God, for you're going to turn this situation around as you have done throughout our lives. Father, we love you, we bless you, and we thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, we thank you and we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, blessings to you all. I think you've already, you all seen that we're going to have a church fast on uh, April 6th, 6th through the 8th, Lord willing. That is kind of going to be reflective of, of Jesus' uh, death, his death, his crucifixion, death, and resurrection, as well as the focus is going to be in three areas. Let me go real quick to Psalm uh, 61 and 3. That's going to be our source scripture, Psalm 61 and 3. And then each day, if you've already seen it, we're going to focus on one of those scriptures. So then the scripture says, to appoint unto them that mourn. So they're talking about Jesus, right? Jesus, this is talking about the Lord Jesus. I'll read from verse 1. 
It says, but the spirit, of the, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, that's day one, day two, the oil of joy for mourning, and day three, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. So those will be our scriptures, our, our, source, our, source, uh, our source scripture for those three days. So we would love for you to be able to join us. If you're on the page, then we do give some instruction about how to fast. This is all focused on biblical fasting. So these are the scriptures that we provide, or how to, how to uh, fast scripturally as far as what's in the Bible. And then also just some common, some common uh, guidance and some guidelines to consider as you live to fast with us. If you can only fast for one meal, fast for one meal. If you're sick, then don't fast. If you're taking medications, please speak with your doctor. We don't want anyone to be hurt during this time. We want you to continue to be safe. But if there's anything that we can do for you and help you, if you're in a situation where you feel helpless, you feel overwhelmed, and you need prayer, please reach out to us. It's not an issue if you feel like that, you feel overwhelmed. There are times when a lot of us feel overwhelmed, and we need help, and we need, and we need a brother or sister to be able to reach out to and to pray with. So please be, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to be able to help you and to walk with you. That's what this is about in this journey. It's about community and for us to be together, right, to join with one another so that we can walk one step by step as the Lord walks with us so that we can walk together and encourage one another to continue to seek God, to look to him, and to trust him with all of our heart. Amen? Remember, when the devil thinks he had you, God's going to turn it around for you, and he does the same for me. Amen? So until the next time, you be blessed. Keep looking to the hills. God bless you.